Hello everybody, high five to you this morning. You know, Mary asked me to uh, do this five minute program this morning and uh, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do what I can. <laughs> Did you wake up this morning and uh, when you put your shoes on, do you wish you had wrote TGIF on your toes, uh, on your shoes, toes go in first? Or do you say, thank God it's Friday? Amen, thank God it's Friday. Well, today I'm gonna be talking to you about, uh, you know, I've just been in a, in a fog lately. I mean, what do you mean by you've been in a fog lately? The fog is you know, the fear of God, the faith of God, and the favor of God. You know, the favor of God is so powerful, and uh, I just feel like if you go into a fog, it's just you can't hardly see where you're going. And that's the way God is. He's just always in our presence, and He's given us uh, favor. He's given us uh, uh, faith, and I'm going to take you to... Uh, uh, Mark chapter, Mark slash Hagen 11, chapter 11, and verse uh, 22 through 26. And it says in 22, it says, have faith in God. But let, let me go further up. Let me go to Mark eleven twenty, 20, and it says, uh, you know, this is where it, the lesson of the withered fig tree. And it says, now in the morning, as they passed by, they saw the fig tree dried up from the roots. And Peter Remember, he said to him, Rabbi, look, the fig tree which you cursed has withered away. Then it says in verse 22, it says, So Jesus answered and said to him, Have faith in God. We are to have faith in God today. Not only have faith in God, but have the faith of God. Fog, F-O-G. And uh, for a sure, uh, uh, then he said, Have faith in God, for sure, uh, surely I say to you, whatever says to, whoever says to this mountain, you see, God is not speaking to mountains today. We are speaking to mountains. We're speaking to circumstances today. Be removed, be the cast into the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. Therefore I say to you, what things uh, you ask when you pray, believe that you receive them, and you will have them. Here's the key. When you pray, believe that you receive from God. You know, I just believe that uh, this year, 2020, starting out uh, in January, the favor of God has been so powerful over our lives simply because we want to believe God. Do you believe God today? Do you really trust the Lord today? And lean not to your own understanding. Just look to the Lord and everything, and He's going to get you through your situation. Amen? In verses 25 and 26 are the keys to make uh, 23 and 24, verses 23 and 24, uh, excuse me, 23 and 24 work, yes. But 25 says we got to, when we stand uh, praying, we got to forgive. Amen. We have, a, for, have to have a forgiving heart for the Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, uh, today I want to just encourage you that uh, you got favor this year, 2020. It's going to be a great year for you, and I encourage you. Just to stay, stay uh, uh, trusting in the Lord, and He's going to see things happen for you. I'll tell you, the windows of heaven are going to open over you, and it's going to be such a blessing for you. Remember this, in Proverbs eighteen twenty one, it says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue. What we say, what comes out of our mouth, really directs our life." So I encourage you today: stay in faith, stay believing God. And when you speak to mountains, circumstances of your lives, things you're going through in life, you might be going through some physical situation, some financial situation. Speak to those mountains, speak to those situations, and watch what God will do in your life. You know, uh, if, if we just stay in faith, amen, stay in faith, believe God, all things are going to work together for our good, simply because we love the Lord. Amen. Well, praise God. Uh, just, uh, just uh, that's all I can do today. It's just, uh, this is the first time I've done this. I, I was thinking I'd probably take 10 minutes, but Mary wanted me to keep it five minutes. So praise God. So we love you today. And we want to encourage you to keep looking up because Jesus is Lord and he's going to take care of you. We love you. God bless you. Bye-bye.